G'day everyone, this is Daniel O'Grady and on the weekend was the 2018 Neo Classic Car Festival. It was held in Mojico and it's a fantastic location. There were so many great cars from the late 70s, 80s and 90s. And it really is an impossible task to distill the fantastic event into one car. But that's kind of what I have to do and the car I'm going to feature is of course this second generation Daihatsu Charade de Tommaso version. But before we get there I just have to show you some of the other amazing cars on offer. Yeah, so many great cars entered in the event and also in the car parks. With some luck, I'll be able to get some more videos together from this day. But we are all gathered here to see this second generation Daihatsu Charade de Tomaso version. And I tell you what, when I saw it there that morning, I dashed over and I got a quick video. I did an Instagram live video, I think, and uh, it really was the main focus of that video. It was a little later in the day though that I did my second sweep and I wander over to the car. Lo and behold, there's a buddy of mine. He owns this fantastic R30 van and there's another video I need to make. Turns out there's an amazing coincidence because these two guys used to be classmates back in the day. Which worked out pretty good for me because when you know someone who knows someone, it's a lot easier to get them to open doors and talk more about their car. And let me just make it clear what a special opportunity it was because, as far as I know, the only second generation Daihatsu Charade de Tomaso version getting around is this one, as evidenced by the fact that this one was featured at the Tokyo blah blah blah. And besides this one, I just do not see any second generation Daihatsu Charades de Tomaso or otherwise. And just a quick word on the de Tomaso connection, you're better off going to the Japanese Nostalgic Car article, there's a link in the video description below. I don't know how you find that description, but you got to swipe up or have a look for it. Now, a bit about the base car, the Charade Turbo, it had the CB60 engine. Oh, well, let's dive into the engine bay, shall we? It had the 993cc inline three. Now, check out the number plate of the car. That's what those three numbers represent. Uh, power output was 80 metric horsepower. That is about 59 kilowatts. It is turboed, but not intercooled. I believe the official reason given was too cool for school, which doesn't seem like very professional language at all. And the gearbox is a five-speed manual. So it was on top of this base package that De Tomaso added their twist. And looking at the brochure, it says Aero tuned by De Tomaso, and Aero is not related to the word erotic, though it may turn some people on. Wheels are Companolo, I hope I've pronounced that correctly. And I did see a set of these wheels on another newer Daihatsu. And added to these wheels were Pirelli P8s. And diving into the interior, we've got a more more steering wheel. And check out those seats. There is the De Tomaso logo stitched into them. And if you drop your lit cigarette butt on those, you are going to cry because where are you going to get this replaced? So everyone, I would love to hear what you think about this car. Let me know in the comments below. Also, I have a massive favor to ask of you. I have many, many favors to ask of you. Number one is please visit the website. Have a look around. There is so much to see. I'm certain there are things, well, videos, let's call them, that you haven't seen before that you would absolutely love to see. Also, to Patreons, I cannot thank you enough. I hope you are enjoying the giveaways. And to a previous winner, Lauren, please get in touch. There is a giveaway that has to go to you. Also, everyone, Wasabi Cars is on Instagram and Facebook. Kyushu Dan on Instagram for reasons I just don't know. And to everyone, thank you. Truly thank you for the likes, the comments, the subscriptions. Very much appreciated. And take it easy, and I'll see you next time.